Hello everyone, it's Kylie Vitucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia today. Surprise! It's a different day for me to normally do a Facebook Live. But since I was sick on Friday, I thought I would come in because I had a card ready to go. I was very excited about my project. Thank you to all those who are watching the replay on YouTube. Please shout out if you're here live or if you're watching on YouTube the replay. Please say hello, where you're from, how long you've been watching, if you get any inspiration from me. I love hearing from you all. I've noticed that YouTube is getting a lot more comments lately, which has been super exciting. Facebook, you guys are always amazing, but come on YouTubers, I want to hear from you. <laughs> say a shout out, hi there. <laughs> so I'm just checking that everything is all live and happy, that I can see your comments coming through okay. Hopefully there's some of you here. It's not planned, so surprise! Yay! Hello, Nancy! Hello, yes, I am looking um, a lot more alive today. <laughs> yes, I was not feeling well at all on Friday. I could not even walk. I was so dizzy. I was literally lying on the floor saying, Bruno, can you please, can you message me? all my lovely followers on Facebook and let them know I'm not coming. Hi, Kuniko-san! Konnichiwa! Genki desu ka! <laughs> yes, much better. Oh, good, Megan! I'm happy to hear that. Chop it! Love it! Chop it! <laughs> so thank you all for being here today. You're in New England, Rachel. Welcome, lovely to have you here. And if you're new to my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, please let me know. I love seeing new ones on here. I had a few emails yesterday um, from new followers. They said friends had let them know about my page and about our blog. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And I love hearing from everyone. Emails. I even got an email yesterday uh, from a demonstrator and she said, I'm thinking about doing more with my business and I need to clear out my craft room. Where do I start? And I'm like, well, let me tell you about Con Murray. <laughs> you need to go see Marie. <laughs> so yes, it's very exciting. There's lots and lots of people contacting us, saying hi. I've got a lovely stalker from Switzerland, Patricia. She'd be very sad that she missed me today. So it's really sweet. It's nice that we're all connected from all around the world. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, Nikki, but that's scary about the fire notifications. Stay safe. Get out quicker than later, as they say. Don't, don't leave it too late. Hello from the other room, Bruno. Welcome. You can come and join in any time. Come and show your face and say hello, that handsome face of yours. <laughs> So I have made a lot of different projects, including Bruno as well. We've been super, super busy in the craft room. But just quickly, in case you missed a few of them, these are all from the Occasions catalog. And I'm sorry if this blurs out. Oh, there we go. Because I've got new lighting in here. I'm still getting used to it with the front on camera. So this one here was one that Bruno made. Maybe if I go closer. Yeah, closer is better. So that's one Bruno made. Stanza. And I'm pretty sure I've got my amazing catalogue here. If I forget the names, you can all help me because you're all amazing. And I, I forget everything. I forget people's names. I remember their face forever. But their name, I'm like, <laughs> Bruno, help me. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, thank you for sharing. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Oh, there it is there. Climbing Roses. <laughs> So those are the Climbing Roses stamps, including that sentiment. And amazingly enough, the paper in the background is from the garage suite. Who would have thought that the garage, geared up garage, could be so elegant and so lovely. So there's that one. And then I did these two with the embossing, uh, the white embossing and then on vellum and to use my blends to colour in on the background. So look out for that video, that's on YouTube. So check out those. So there's those. Oh, you're the same, Alessandra. I'm like, I've got to relate it to someone or something. So if I meet, yeah, if I meet someone, I'm like, who do I know that's got that name and how am I going to remember them? I've got to like connect it. So even when I meet people, we say, I'm Kylie Minogue 
and that's Bruno Mars, so that it helps people. And sometimes we'll meet people down the track and they're like, oh, Kylie Minogue and Bruno Mars. We remember you too. <laughs> it's like you got to relate it to something. <laughs> and here's another one here with that amazing uh, Florid Florentine thinlets. That is such a beautiful dye. And I literally just did it on the front. I did the card. I made the card and then I put the dye on the front and that's how it cut. It cut out from the actual card itself. So it's not something you stick on. It's, yeah, it feels the opposite to what we usually do. So I love that. Oh, good. I'm glad you got to see the vellum card, Rachel. Thank you. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Grace. Sorry if I'm missing some of you. Hello to everyone. So lovely to see so many here, especially because it's an impromptu. <laughs> Hi, Laurie. And these gorgeous ones here using the wonderful romance. And I'm using this bundle again today because it's so stunning. And I sort of channeled these cards for an idea of my project today. Um, but yeah, with a little bit of a twist, you shall see. And then that's the Hello Doily bundle looking amazing. And I also used that one with the Hello Doily as well, that stamp set. So that's a gorgeous bundle if you want to look out for that bundle. Um, even those sentiments. And this is the Well Said bundle. So it's just absolutely beautiful. So there you go. There's all our latest. And of course I did some Love It Chop It because Love It Chop It is just the best. If you don't know what Love It Chop It is, you need to join my Love It Chop It workshop. Oh, thank you, Alessandra. Um, it is so much fun on that page and there's more fun and games coming very soon. But I made all of these cards using our 12 by 12 paper. And if you chop up one pack of 12 by 12 paper, you'll get 72 cards. And you make them pretty quickly too. So it's a really cost effective, affordable way. Plus it's simple because you can literally just add the paper and a sentiment and you're done. I stepped these up a bit and added the framelit pieces and a bow using my Bow Easy Maker. If you haven't got one of my Bow Easy Makers, I got these from the States, $10 each. I'll put up a link and anyone around the world can purchase it for $10. So I'll pop up that link. I've made it a little bit less complicated. It's just one link, no matter where you are in the world. <laughs> So there's my Love It Chop It, so they're amazing. But I'll get right into our card making because I know your time is precious. Oh, one more. This was from yesterday. And this was inspired by the amazing Wendy Cranford. And again, using the Hello Doily um, bundle. I used the background is the Hello Doily and the Highland Heather. It's so beautiful, this combination. Absolutely love it. And then the other one that is used, I'm going to make sure I get the right name because I'm like, what even is that name? Look at that gorgeous get well soon sentiment. So pretty. So that is turning, turning. You watch, I'll never find it again. Now I have to actually look at, for the information. Oh, needle and thread. Okay, so that's the needle and thread. Of course, I should have remembered because of the little buttons. See, that's how I've got to remember. Buttons, needle and thread. <laughs> and again that well said bundle with that gorgeous little friend written there so beautiful oh thank you all very much so lots and lots of inspiration from our brand new occasions catalog all of that has come from this new catalog so if you live in australia and you're looking for someone to get these products through and also to learn how to use the stamps to learn how to use the products to make cool cards like this. I love having cards to give away all the time. It's so exciting and it's so nice if something comes up or we're going out for dinner or we're going to a friend's place or we've heard a few tragedies in the last couple of weeks and to be able to give the gift of a card, a handmade card, it's so special and so meaningful. So definitely if you're looking at doing something, a hobby um, or getting into something that you would like to enjoy that has a double purpose. You get to enjoy it yourself. It's therapy for you. Much cheaper than going to a psychologist. <laughs> and on top of that, it's not that bad for you. It's pretty healthy as long as you don't eat chocolate while you're doing it or drink too much wine. And also it's really satisfying to be able to give this gift of card making 
to or even a project you can make a box or a gift or anything like that and to give it to someone else is so precious like you should see people's faces a friend of mine just recently her mum died and I gave them a card that I had made and it was my healing hugs card with those beautiful roses and I used the um, puzzle framelit and he came to me, his her husband, and he said, you know, I didn't really get what you did. I didn't get that you made cards, but that that is not a card. That is like a gift in itself. And so he was really, really touched uh, by that by that amazing card. And it's different to anything that you can buy in the shop. It's so personal and so beautiful. So yeah, it's a very special gift we have to share with others. And of course, if you're not part of my Random Act of Kindness group, please join in. Um, just this week, one of our lovely demonstrators, um, she said that in her community, there's been a really awful thing happen in a local school where some people have been killed and it's really shaken up the whole community. So she put up a post, can anyone send some Random Act of Kindness cards? to her community and it's like that's what we're all about that's what we want to do not only are we receiving the gift of being able to use our hands and be creative and use our mind we're also feeling good as well feeling really good about doing something for others to lift their spirits to encourage them to give them a sense of belonging to something bigger than just their community but worldwide it's like there's these people out there that are doing it amazing things for other people and just saying hey we're thinking of you um we we you know feel awful about what has happened to you so that's a really special bit, group to be part of we're even helping the heart of stamping up achievers and these heart of stamping up achievers are doing amazing things um in terms of fundraising for their lo local community um, i think meals on wheels was one of them and the cancer research is the other so you can even help out with that because they're having to put on big events that Sarah and Shelley are going to be attending. So I thought it would be really great if we can send some cards for them to put on as displays or to give away to those that attend. And that's something really special. We can help the Heart of Stampin' Up! recipients. So in some little way, it's like we're part of that Heart of Stampin' Up! as well. Hi, Bruno Batucci. Hi, showing his face. The it's light's nice. Time. That's very nice. Yeah, I you think it was look a good suggestion. Thin. Do I look thick? Do I? Oh, thank you. You're looking quite fine yourself, really. Hello, everybody. <laughs> that looks interesting there. It looks different, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, completely. Yeah. Anne, um, see, you have to say hello to Anne. I haven't got to say hi, hello yet. A N No. A. Oh, yeah, that. N N, N N E. E. Oh, yeah. Hello. Um. <laughs> I'm not... Say hello to Anne, everyone. She's deaf. Yes, some other people have already done that. Good. Thank you, everyone. Oh, oh you're so your... good. I missed it. I'm too busy gabbing on about how cool giving cards are. That was very nice. So you've got the swaps there. Yes. There was another pile of cards that I yes, put here. here for you. Yeah. All the random acts of kindness cards. I'll just cards. shut up then. I know. I'm a bit organised today. Are you shocked? Do you want to? Do you want to show some? Um. I'd love you to show just this one, Wurgy. She would love you to Where show her card. Hi, Wurgy. Thank you very much for this awesome card. <laughs> you like how you like, Priscilla. I just, the only thing I don't like is when I'm showing the cards. So here time. is a card. This is from the um, Nice Butterflies. <laughs> beauty of Bounds. I beauty remember of Bounds. that one. <laughs> okay. And it has a framelit. What's the framelit The called? Beauty of Bounds bundle. Just get the whole bundle. Don't get them separate. Get the stamp and the bundle. Those, so what's the start? Those butterflies that. are gorgeous. I've got a card coming up. I think it's tomorrow. No, Friday. And it uses that. Come on, hurry up. Oh, sorry. It's I'm just too, slow turn I'm around too, too, too busy up there. talking. So it's the Beauty of Bounds. That's that framelit. And it looks like she's coloured the uh, flowers in with... Um, could it be watercolours? Could it be blends? No, nah, I think it's markers. Yeah, maybe markers. Yeah, I think it's markers. What do you think, everyone? Yeah, looks like markers. Oh, it's so hard doing things. Go back? Yeah. Maybe if we go back more. We have to work out the lighting just for showing cards. Yeah. But everything else is good. Yeah. Your skin colour looks really nice. Does it? My, Here's another one. My snow white complexion. So that was Wurgy <laughs> Hampton. Hey, Andre, we'll see you then. Wurgy, um, she's a team member, and Wurgy actually sent 
uh, through a card. Well, she sent through a card, and it was just a, hey, thanks for that. That's it. That's thanks for that everything. One. That's her other one. And then we got another one, um, which where she did, which is this one. Yeah, we have to work out how to do that one. <laughs> So we have to used, work out how to show the cards. <laughs> so you can see some of the, you know that embossing where you use the mats? Mm. Yeah, she did that. So that's a nice idea. Hi, Shelly. So where she redeemed some um, gifts. So uh, if you're a member of our team, you get some vouchers and other goodies. And so she sent through a card saying, here are some things that I can redeem. Yes. A few redeemers. We had a few in the team get all the vouchers, which is exciting. Here's another card Love from a team member. This is from um, Carolina Evans. The famous Carolina famous Evans. Famous Carolina Evans. So she used some of that paper. I'm pretty sure that paper is now retired. It's from the fruit um, from mm. last year. But that stamp set, I love it. And uh, it's awesome for... Bye, Doreen. Awesome for um, use of the stamp and blends. Funny, Linda. She said, if I'm Snow White, who are you? Um, Grumpy? <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy, they said that, dopey. <laughs> so thank you very much, Caroline Evans. <laughs> Studioevans.blogspot.com There's another one of our team members. So Caroline is in our team as well. Yes. She claimed vouchers. This is another team member. Nicole claimed vouchers. We're now poor because all our team... <laughs> Claimed their vouchers. So this is Nicole. <laughs> Nicole is an awesome Gold Elite member of our team. Yes. Woo-hoo-hoo. Go Nicole. Um, and she redeemed some vouchers as well. So when the new catalogue came out, a lot of people redeemed Bruno Bashful. I don't think so. <laughs> but that some of that... Um, see how she's used the, um, the layering circles? Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Nicole. What's it like back here? Maybe it's... It's just not close enough, is it? Mm. You can see it, though. It's okay. This one is from Nancy, also a team member. Nancy and is I one of Nancy's our... I think Nancy's on here, too. Hi, Nancy, if you're on. Um, Nancy is a team member that moved to Australia from the United States. Yay! So welcome, Nancy. Nancy joined our team. She's doing very well so far. Um, I'm sure Nancy will continue to do well. Yeah. Um, she used it. some of those butterfly stamps and framelits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one. There's about seven different butterflies. So, which, can you please tell me what is the update on the things that are going to retire in Australia? Okay, so this ribbon is that not, one's a, gone. not That's available, not unfortunately. So, the in Australia, f- um, anyway. Up until the last update, the f- the punch is approaching not orderable status. Mm. So that means that the if you order the punch by itself or the bundle, um, it's approaching not orderable status. So order Get it, it now. now, 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 now. Mm. Um, just scroll down. Yeah, there. Is it? Oh, yeah, that one. That there, one. Isn't there. It? Items oh, approaching. Uh, I have to be gentle with this mouse. It's not very nice. Up at the up up up. Having a that, um, yeah, that conniption. one. Oh, yeah, butterfly duet punch. So that's that punch. Yeah. And the cake builder punch. So they're not currently on back order, but they do expect to deplete the inventory, and then you'll no longer be able to get it until March, mid March. So if you really, really desperately want those butterflies, which I can get understand. Get it now, 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 now. Yeah, get those. Because here's another one So thank you very much, Nancy. Thanks, hey, look Nancy. Look there, right there. Oh, good. Yep. Mid, midway. Oh, midway. Oh, on there it's a bit bright. Go back a bit. But, yeah, the, you know, that's like the right distance too. Yeah. Looks a bit bright though. Is there embossing So thank you, Nancy. That? Um, you there is. see the embossing. There's embossing. Um, pa- yes, you can. Oh, yeah, there you can. You yeah. can see the embossing there. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> We're just trying. We will. Anything. We'll work, work it out eventually. We really. Another will. one from the famous Virginia Wergy. So yeah, <laughs> Thank in you the very US, much. Shelley said they've already run out of the cake punch and the butterfly punch and the ribbon. Ribbon definitely. Yeah. The ribbon has run out here. We haven't even used it once. Oh, Jenny was able to use the ribbon last night. 
Oh, that's good. Thank you, Jenny, for telling us that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So maybe it's still around. But it's a celebration redeeming one. So you need to spend $90 in Australia to get the ribbon. It's so th- back ordered until the 11th of Feb. Mm. So this is what words you use. Words you use the Gingham Gala mm. paper and some of the other butterfly um, <laughs> duo <laughs> punch. <laughs> and she used um, uh, those little finger things to blend the colour through, whatever that's called. Sponge daubers. Sponge daubers. A dauber. So I'm going to leave it there because okay, we have I'm friends go coming and I'm like, I haven't even made a card yet. Thank oh, you for popping o'clock. in. Yes, they're coming in. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm like, stick to a time schedule. I will promise to do the other cards because we've got a, a, quite a number more here to show, but I'll show them on Friday because I will have another live. What are you doing, Bruno? Just giving something. Oh, thanks. It's nice of you to show off that plastic envelope to everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> so let's jump in and make some cards because I don't want to be here and not make a card, right? Thank you very much for continuing to watch, especially those on YouTube. I have a new theory because some say that they don't watch for a long time on YouTube. I'm proving that wrong. I am, I promise, because I think YouTubers are happy to stay on. They're happy to stay here and craft with me. So I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to prove, prove them all wrong. Oh, stupid autocorrect. Daggers. I was like, I was wondering what that was about, Rachel. <laughs> yes, I am feeling a lot better. Thank you, Jenny. So this is the card that I want to make today. Are you ready for it? Oh my goodness, you guys are going to love this card. So I've done it in two different colors. So this is the card here. And as I mentioned, this is using the Wonderful Romance Suite. And this is the stunning, absolutely beautiful embossing folder that comes with it. So I'm going to grab, oh here it is here, so I'm pretty sure, so our wonderful romance suite, if you haven't got that suite yet, you need it, because I have a lot of projects to show you, I've got them all on YouTube, so you can look for them, but it comes with the beautiful framelit dies, but down here it's also got the lace dynamic textured embossing folder as well. So this is what I want to highlight today is this beautiful, beautiful embossing folder. And if you haven't got it yet, it's incredible because it's this really amazing textured embossing folder, as it's named, <laughs> actually. Now, this is one color. So this is with Soft Suede and the Sahara Sand. But I've also done this gorgeous one in the petal pink with the matching little ribbon, our beautiful embellishments and the Soft Sea Foam. Um, leaves there. Sorry, I'll turn to this side. So that's another gorgeous one as well. But today I'm going to use the Highland Heather. Yes, just for a bit of fun. So aren't they beautiful? And you can see how this amazing die here, you can just flip it to vertical or horizontal and have a completely different look. Same style of card, same layout, same everything, but it will help you to, yeah, have a different card altogether. So I'm going to, I've just cut my A4 paper in half. I like to do it lengthways, but most people do it the other way, widthways. So I cut it at 10.5, but if you're doing it the other way, you do it at 14.9. And then beautiful bone folder. It gives it a nice, crisp, beautiful edge. Now I've got my layers cut here. I've already used for saving time because I knew my friends were coming today. But I was like, I think I can squeeze in my live video before they come. <laughs> so we've got our framelits already cut and I've done it in the mint macaron today. And isn't this just beautiful? I want to show you these framelits. I put mine on the magnetic sheets. And in case you're wondering where I got those, it's just eBay. I just went on eBay and looked for magnetic sheets. They came in A4 size and I just chopped them up to make them the size I wanted. So this is the, I'm looking for the, um, where the leaves have gone. Of course it's gone walkabouts. Just when I think I am the most organized I've ever been, of course I have to lose something because I really wanted to show you, is it in there? No, oh, there it is. It's stuck to the magnetic plate, of course. So these leaves here, you would never expect, like you would think that it's going to cut out those insides but in actual fact it does embossing 
Can you see that? Good night, Anne. Bye. <laughs> so look at the detail on that. How amazing is that? So instead of cutting out, it embosses it and creates those little leaves. And you could even sponge that if you want to, to make those creases pop out. But I absolutely love those framelits. They're just so, so nice. So I've used this set quite a bit, including that sentiment one there. And this gorgeous one here is incredible. I've already given this away, this card, but it's so pretty. So let's have a look here at what we're going to do. We're going to do some embossing. So I'm going to do that first because we'll come back and then layer everything. So with this one here, I've done it at 8.5 centimeters um, by 12.9 centimeters. And then we've just done two millimeters extra. So 8.7 by 13.1. So it's just two millimeters extra. So it's gonna be one millimeter extra around the edge. Now, if you're working in um, imperial measurements, I've got my little card templates. I hope all of you are using your card templates because it helps so much when you're trying to create. Um, Cause you can just like, I have no idea what inches or anything could be but it's great for those who struggle with measurements, even in your own normal me measurements that you use. So I would say something like that would be pretty good. That would be um, a close enough replica, probably even a bit smaller if we can. Let's have a look here. That one looks too small, yes. That's too, maybe that one there. No, I think even smaller again. Oh, that's the same one got two of the same template now that's bigger see how bad I am with inches I look at it and I still don't know if it's smaller or bigger <laughs> I'm like I don't know what size that is I'll just use my template actually I think oh no nah, I think it's going to be its own new size now nah, actually that looks good I think that that will work perfectly yes this is the winner so you might want to do it a little bit bigger, but it's just such a different sized card. So I think that works really well though, the 4.5 inch by 3.25. But just have a play, like have your templates ready to go and just, you know, try it out and see what looks probably the most similar. You could do it a little bit bigger if you wanted to, but I think that looks good. And then if you wanted to add just a little bit on, so I've got my little ruler here. So 3.25, so then you could just go to, what's the next one up? So probably three and one, two, three eighths. Yeah, three and three eighths. And then what is it this side? Four and six eighths. Four and six eighths. You'll remember that, won't you? <laughs> I'll write it down because uh, because I'll end up having to do the measurements for this anyway. So I need to have my little grid paper here and say three and what did I say? One, two, three eighths of an inch. And then the other one is four and six eighths of an inch. So that's going to be the measurements. And then the other layer is 4.5 inch by 3.25 inch. I've written it down in my secret corner where you can't see it because my face is here. <laughs> oh, good to you use your template. Oh, that's so good. I'm so happy you all like the templates. Thank you, Holly. Nice to see you here. Our lovely Holly. So let's have a look at our beautiful embossing fold. Oh, what am I doing? Look at me. <laughs> no, Kylie, your templates don't go in the framelits holder. <laughs> oh, dear. What are we going to do with me? Put it back where it belongs, Kylie. Then you will be able to find it again when you need it. So let's bring in our big shot and do some embossing. Because I've done everything else. Now, with these bigger ones, it's important to realize that you're going to be using a different layer. So it actually does have it on here. See how it has the embossing? And you're just gonna use one plate. But 
the best way to gauge it, like don't stress too much if you don't remember the plates. Oh, I'm so glad, Sandra. Yay. Because I was talking to my friend Jessie and um, I'm just going to get rid of this notification. I was talking to my friend Jessie and she, when she used to make cards, she never ever had measurements ready. She just said, I just eyeballed it. And I actually remember doing that myself too. I'd be like, oh, I need to cut off a bit more. Oh, I need to cut off a bit more. Uh, now it's crooked. Uh, now I've cut off too much. So this is just the perfect way to just make sure that it's going to fit properly. And you're not guesstimating. We don't want to guesstimate. We just want to cut it perfectly the first time. We haven't got time to be eyeballing. We need to know what we're doing and do it stat and feel confident when we're doing it. So yes, I'm very excited about those templates and just keep adding to them. I did a card yesterday. I'm like, oh, I don't have that template in my collection. I'm just going to add that one in because I really liked it. It was like a one centimeter border. I'm like, oh, I don't have that one. So sure, I'll add that one in. So it's just great for looking at what you want it to look like and you get a visual guide too. I'm very visual. I like to see what I'm doing. I don't know how Bruno does architecture. It's like, if I had to think of what a place or a building is gonna look like before it's built, it's like, <laughs> my brain can't handle that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, your waste paper, just get, and chopping and then going, ugh, scrap. <laughs> so this way you know exactly what you're doing. Now, with this beautiful, look at this stunning, amazing embossing folder. Now you can, if you want to spray it, you can spritz it with a bit of water. That is totally fine to get more of an in-depth um, pattern. But also what I found is really good is to make sure, and I don't know if you noticed it on these cards, but I will show you um, when I find the other one. There it is. <laughs> Piles everywhere. But I did them different directions. So this one here I did horizontal and this one I did vertical. And you can see the effect is just so stunning, no matter which way you use it. But I wanted it to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I wanted it to be as centered as I possibly could get it. Of course, it's not going to be absolutely perfect, but you know, only Bruno would notice if it's not spot on to the millimeter. So this is really important when you're using this, this folder. So what you can do is you can line it up um, see see the bottom and see the top and then you know where you're at and even by looking at the, the edges you can see exactly where it's going to go but if you want it sort of side on you can use that one as well and line it up that way so there's a lot of different options so what i can do i might even do one that i haven't done before which will be a bit of fun so about there it looks good and if you wanted to, you could even stick a little bit of washi tape. It's probably not going to hurt it, just so that it stays in place and you're not like, huh, ah, is it going to stay still? So I'll do that and we'll test it out to make sure that my theory works. Because, yeah, we want it to stay in place and we don't want to be stressing when we close it. We don't want to get, <laughs> just saves all that stress. Thank you, washi. You're our stress saviour. So just the embossing folder, because it's so large, only one plate. And if this doesn't roll through, then we know we've got the wrong sandwich. That's the best way to tell. But it's rolling and it feels sturdy. Like it feels like it's got some pressure. So clearly it is the right sandwich to use with this folder. If it's not going through your big shot, just take a, take a sandwich out. You don't have to stress because some of us are like, oh my goodness, I don't know which sandwich to use with which one. If it goes through, it's the right one. If it goes through too easily and nothing happens, you need to add another plate. Easy. Oh, thanks, Rachel. I'm just going to ask about it. So let's open this up. Oh my goodness. How beautiful does this look? So let's see what washi does. Does it still emboss through the washi? That would even be exciting, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. Look at washi. Washi is like the best thing ever. And you know what? There's no washi. No washi, new washi in this occasions catalog. And you know what that tells me? That none of you are buying washi. Like, it, washi is the best thing ever invented. If Stampin' Up, if we don't buy washi, Stampin' Up aren't going to keep creating it. <laughs> and then I'll cry because I love washi. It's like the best thing ever. Because <gasps> I can just stick it to myself and then stick it everywhere and then it keeps sticking to everything. 
I can use my big shot. I can use thinlets with it. The best. Washi is just amazing. Please come back, Washi. Please come back. Can find it on the dog. Yeah, goes all over the place. <laughs> yes, there is so many options. Look at that. Oh, my washi fell. I was talking too much. So look at that. Three completely different designs. Well, not completely different, but they all have something a little bit different to it. Just using the exact same folder. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. Oh, <laughs> washi. Yes, that's the most exciting bit, Julie. It lasts forever. It's like the most affordable thing you can ever get. Like, washi has babies, and it's the best. So we put them, we stick them all on the back of our envelopes. We use it inside our card. We stick them on the envelopes. Like, you can literally start sticking them on your wall, start decorating your house with washi, because that stuff never ends. It's like the best thing ever. It's like the most affordable thing you'll ever buy. So yes, there we go. There's our beautiful cards. And as you can see, all very different. I really like this one. I think this one's my favorite, that pattern. So there you go. Now let's do some compiling before Kylie talks herself. Ooh, which side are we gonna use? <gasps> I think I'm gonna go that side. Yeah, I like those flowers getting stuck out. So let's have a look ski and I've had a few questions lately about my storage. I get questions about my storage constantly. It's so funny. It's probably one of the most talked about things when I do my videos. I, I at least get one private message from people saying, um, where did you get your storage from? Sadly, you need to be in Australia to get my storage. Because a lot of people who ask are from the States and they're like, meh, that's sad. And they don't get to have it, which is very sad. So we can use either one of these two. I'm thinking, thinking of you. Let's do thinking of you. And we want to use, I don't know what's going on here. What, what's this? All? Oh, I haven't done the cling. I've done the cling on one. <laughs> I haven't done the cling on all the others. <laughs> I am still playing catch up with all this new cling. I'm not used to actually putting the stickers on my blocks. <laughs> so let's have a look. We'll put this one on here. Actually, I need a little smaller. Have I got a smaller one? I don't like using too big a block because I find I then end up start wobbling and it doesn't look any good. So I probably, the key to this is probably stamping first, then cutting out. It does make your life a lot easier. So do not do what I'm doing. Listen to me, but don't do what I'm doing. It's great with the new, yes, it is very good. Adding washi under the cling wrap so you can pull off the washi. Go Sandra, I'm loving that idea. You're one smart woman. See, another useful washi. Washi's the best. Please keep buying washi. We want washi to return. We want it to stay with us forever. Now, I'll just check that I've got it the right way. Yes, I do. How does it stamp? So I can have an idea. Oh, yeah, that looks good. So this is not too bad if it's not too crooked. Oh, that's all right. That'll do. You'll love that. And then I'm going to put a few of our beautiful... Look at me. Where did I put them? <laughs> it is the case of the mysterious missing embellishments. Found them. You can stop looking, everyone. I'm going to use... Aren't the clear mount cases the best thing for storage? By the way, I'm going to start a little um, video ses session on storage. Yep. KonMari crafting. Ah, how exciting is that? I'm so looking forward to it. I actually wanted to start it today, but I thought, no, I better stick with what I was going to do rather than adding a new thing in. But I'm going to talk about all different storage ideas because I know a lot of us have big problems with our storage, craft storage. And do you know who is the best expert at storage in our household? Bruno. In fact, I said to him, if he ever wanted to have another job, he could like go over to people's places and do their storage for them. He'd love it. He's like so good at it. 
and he enjoys it. He likes tidying up. So yeah, I'm going to give like all different ideas on how we can put things away neatly and how we can say goodbye to things. Yes, all the things that we struggle with. You know, we, we end up keeping all of these things and I love the KonMari method and it works perfectly in a craft room because I did it. I've done it and it's so good. It's so good. Ah, oh, thanks, Chrissy. So what else do we need? Now, this is my little trick for using things like layers because a lot of us struggle with layers. I used to struggle with layers personally, but this is my little trick using my... Tear and tape. Hope you all have tear and tape. Do you know how good it is? I love tear and tape. No, he can't build them. But I thought, in the States, is there a Kmart? I want to find a store that we all have, or most of us. But I know between Kmart and Ikea, it should cover most of us worldwide. Bruno will be the new Marie condo. He can be the craft condo. <laughs> I'm hoping he can do some of the videos, but maybe it can be something we do together. If I start it, then he'll join in. But I've just got to start it. So this is my idea, right? So I, I find out where I want it. And I go, yep, that looks good. Yep, that looks really nice too. And then I turn it over. And it doesn't have to stay exact, of course. And then I just do a bit of this. Boom! That is how easy it is. Oh! Look at this amazing layering that Kylie's done. It's so complicated. Not. <laughs> How easy is that? Oh, good. You've got... Oh, Kmart's gone. <laughs> I thought that you might have Kmart, but we'll find an alternative because I'm sure in every store there is an alternative. Oh, that's nice, Rebecca. <laughs> so, yes, it's very... Um, we will find something that's similar. And it's more the concepts that I want to talk about because I think our biggest problem isn't storage. Our biggest problem is letting go, using it, and finding a place. That's my big thing. Find a home where it's going to stay. And that is probably the biggest, biggest problem. Oh, good. P Pamela said, I have my chamois in a clear storage box. So do I. And my embellishments and storage. Yeah, that's what I do too. It's the best. So that's that. And I don't even pull off the tape because we don't need to. So done. And then we'll pull this off. I think I can hear my friends here. Although I didn't hear the bell go. That'll be right. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Before we stick it down, I'll stick it on here. And then I can have a proper look with my eyes. I know. Isn't it the best, Marissa? It's so good. She is just the cutest little thing. Oh my goodness. I love how she gives time to think about what the house does for her and to thank the house for, for looking after the people in it. She's so sweet. And there's that. Oh my goodness, this card's beautiful. And the best thing is, and it's probably a new theory of mine, although I uh, no, it is pretty new actually. It's a new theory. But I think it's really important to, if you've made a, a card, to make the most of it and do a few different colours. And they look so different and yet it's the same layout. You haven't had to think other than change the colour and change it up a bit. And so it's a really, really good way of utilising a layout that you've used and even online like I get my team to do the same thing where we case a project but we call it copy and share because it's really interesting um, that when you look at a project you can just tweak a few things in that project change the color you might love the layout there might be something about that card that you are just attracted to. And if you find that card online that you're just like, I love that card. Well, take that card and make it your own. You can change the embossing folder on this. You could use this with any embossing folder that you wanted. You could change the color with any color you wanted. You could change this underlying framelit here. You could change the sentiment framelit. You could change the sentiment font. 
and it would look like a completely different card. So go for it, try it. Try it with this card. Use a completely different embossing folder colors, um, different sentiment, or if you really like, you can just totally case it completely. Like do, just copy it completely because that's why I do these videos. And tag me in Facebook if you do. If I inspire you with a card in any way, I'd love to hear from you. I love it. I got tagged on Facebook the other day. I said, thank you, Kylie Batucci. You inspired my card today. And I was like, oh, I love that. That's the best. Yes, make sure you get this embossing folder. It is so, so pretty. Now, of course, we just want to do our inside and do our card. And I'm going to use the beautiful Highland Heather. This is a gorgeous purple. Same with the gorgeous grape. It is a gorgeous grape. <laughs> it's a gorgeous color. So we have, sorry for the arm there. We have our beautiful flower from the same bundle. I'm trying to stick to the same bundle these days because I think it's really, it's a lot easier to just see, okay, what, what will that one bundle do for me? And this one bundle plus the, the embossing folder, but it's from the same suite, this is what you can make. And there's quite a number of cards, as I said, on YouTube that you can use as well. So there's our envelope. Beautiful. We'll do the back as well. It's nice to have the back done. There. And we'll do our insert. And I've used vanilla for this, by the way, in case you didn't can't see it with the light. It's very vanilla. Is this framelit from the door? No, it's from the same same um, bundle, which is the wonderful floral. So it's the wonderful romance bundle. So the stamp that I'm using and the framelits go together which is very good. So we're going to stamp on this side. Ta -da! And we'll stick that down so that we have no naked card. Wonderful romance. It is a wonderful romance, but as you can see, you can use it for a lot of different things other than romance. Because you know, some men don't appreciate our beautiful cards. But we have lots of friends that love what romance. We might have some friends that are total romantics. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look, if you got that card, you'd be so happy. You can even use the mint macaron if you wanted to. So there you go. That's my card today. How did everyone go? I hope you followed along. And I hope you are inspired enough by this card to make your own because you know that's what we want around here we want some inspiration to hit there we go where am i sitting it about uh, uh, it's really hard with this lighting we will work it out eventually <laughs> that's about where it needs to be it needs to be quite close ah that's not bad i'll just hide in the background <laughs> So that is our card today and as you saw we've got all these beautiful ones here as well. Ta -da! I think I might just have to make sure that I'm not showing the cards while I'm here. <laughs> Maybe show them while I'm while I'm doing it from the front. We'll just sit right back. <laughs> thank you all so much. I really hope you enjoyed my little card making today and thank you all so much for your well wishes. Um, if you have any questions, if you're looking for a demonstrator here in Australia, I'd love to help you. We still have our celebration joining special. Do not miss this special. I think we've had over 30 now join the Crazy Crafters team. In my personal team, I think we've had about 9 or 10 join, which is so exciting. I love having new team members. And basically, it just means you get cheaper stuff. And we all want cheaper stuff, right? And an opportunity to do something you love and maybe even make some money if you're willing to work hard. I'm looking for work, hard workers that have got a good, good, um, positive attitude. They're the people I'm looking for. Is that you? Because if it's you, you've got so much potential and I can help you to unleash the beast, to unleash opportunities. All you need is to have willing willingness to work. <laughs> They're hard people to find these days, these hard workers. They really are willing to keep going despite 
have a bit of tenacity. You gotta have a bit of tenacity if you wanna build a Stampin' Up! business. Because you know, any business, it takes probably a good year to two years of good hard work. I look at my dad and his restaurants. He would work 70 hours a week for probably three or four years before he saw any money come out of it. Doesn't take that long with Stampin' Up! But a lot of people give up after like first six months or something like that. And then they're like, oh, it doesn't work. So how long were you trying for? Six months, that's not long enough. Keep going. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Please share. If you're on YouTube, please say hello. Thank you for watching the replay. And I am sure we'll be in touch on Friday. As per usual, normal time, this was just to jump in and do my card because I missed last Friday. Thank you all for understanding. And we'll see you 